Hello everyone. So today I really wanted to make a video on uh, printing using, uh, of course, uh, cups. Now I made a video, I believe, uh, you know, some time back, in fact, recently, where I showed, where I uh, wanted to talk about uh, the wireless printing that you can do using uh, Linux. And uh, I, I have been using uh, a wireless printer. Most of the printers are wireless anyways these days. And if you want, you can actually use uh, Sane to scan a document wirelessly, or, or you can also use cups to print something. And uh, it is very much detailed if you want to, you know, figure out how to set it up. I, I've made a video where I showed th these packages. Avahi and few other things and you need to you need to do some setup but the problem is I'm not not the problem is but for for my use case because I have this uh, inkjet printer and uh, I have this Canon inkjet printer which is uh, it comes with a scanner and I use it mostly for scanning but sometimes you have to you know rely on printouts especially if you're dealing with you know visa and passport stuff it is a pain and uh, I was you not know, doing those things and I had to print something. Now the problem is that because I have inkjet printer and my printer when I purchased it, I think it was 30 something pounds. And when I uh, tried to, uh, because of course it is a it is an inkjet printer, so eventually your ink will will you know finish and then you will probably go and buy a new cartridge. And the the cost of the new the cost of new cartridges it's always more than <laughs> the the printer itself and it is really a strange thing in delhi we used to get the cartridges refilled and uh, i used to do that to be honest not only for inkjet but also for the toner but here in the uk um, i don't really think uh, you can go to a local computer shop and get your cartridges refilled i'm sure people are doing it but i'm not really aware of it but you can actually purchase uh, ink or you know the the set of inks from amazon and you can refill it yourself which i have shown you on this channel on this channel i do have like a video a couple of videos i believe on this so what i normally do i have this you know setup like ink sets which i just you know uh, refill to my cart cartridges and it works it works fine but the problem is that uh, my printer's black cartridge is not really working f nicely so whenever i print something with the uh, black it although there is there is ink in it but uh, it has like whenever it prints there is like a gap in between so uh, i can't really use the ink cartridge to print something which is detailed for example qr codes uh, so what i what i normally do i basically use if i have, if i really need a printout which i cannot really afford to go wrong like especially qr code or some official document and i want it to be proper i basically log into one of my windows uh, machine and in windows there is an option like in the driver to only print using the color cartridge so it will basically make black color by combining of course uh, <laughs> rgb i guess no not rgb but cyan red and i guess blue uh, anyways so I, I was trying to do it using uh, the default uh, driver because when you install and set up cups, it will of course give you some options and you can actually, so, so there is a command called LP options and uh, using LP options, you can uh, basically check the current settings of the printer and you can also configure and there is some PPD file which you can configure if you want, but also cups comes with a web interface where you can configure the driver if you want. But the, but the problem is that the default driver was not really sufficient. Uh, it, it, there was no option to change the ink set. It's called as ink set, I believe, or mark ink cartridge or ink set, I guess, something like that. But I was able to, because I, I was I searched online and I couldn't really find anything. And finally, I looked at the CUPS official arch documentation. And I noticed this uh, Guten Print uh, project where it says that you can install uh, these two packages. And uh, basically, these are packages with a lot of drivers. I thought, okay, usually I don't really try to install a lot of packages on my 
on my installation of Arch. But if I have to, I will. So I, 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 I installed it and uh, I went to the CUPS uh, interface. I changed the driver and then I found one option to select only black cartridge, the ink set, I believe. And then it worked. So this is something that, uh, that, uh, that I thought I'll probably share with you because you may want to do something similar, especially, or even if you're not really doing anything, because in my case, although printing was working fine, but I was looking for that specific feature to change the cartridge or only use the color cartridge. And uh, if you're using Guten Print, I guess it will give you a lot of other options. So normally what, what I do, I use, of course, uh, LP command to print something and uh, using LP command you can also configure uh, in one command what all pages or range of pages that you want to print. It is wonderful. I don't really think I would ever go to a UI now to print because it is so convenient to print something using... Uh, I mean, I, I've been using these things to be honest f for a long time, but uh, uh, I think the, the last time I used cups was, uh, you know, I believe in 2016 when I was in India because I had a big multi-jet, not multi-jet, but that multi-thing, but you know, that those big, big printers, uh, laser printers with uh, like auto feeder and uh, scanner, of course. And I used cups back then, but for, for like a few years, I didn't really, really use it at all because I was not really printing anything. But now, you know, these days or uh, recently, or in the last couple of years, I have like, I have to deal with like some visa passport issues especially if you go to uh, high commission of india in london you have to basically they don't take up digital copies you have to basically carry those printouts and attest those printouts i know bureau bureaucracy but anyways i was able to do it and i was able to solve the problem and by the way you know on this channel i've, I've covered like a lot of things like how to print your own passport size pictures. So far, I, I never really had any issues because I, I did it myself because I have like good setup to take pictures like lights and cameras. And I also showed you how to print something using GIMP, you know, like a proper size picture. And because I have a printer, I also have photography, you know, you can actually buy it from any stationery shop, that photography page. So you can do do these things easily the thing is that if you're in india if you're in delhi for example this i never really bothered to print my own picture because you know you can go to a local shop and you can pay 20 rupees and you know get a lot of pictures instantly not if, even if not instantly like quickly because you know they will just print it out but i think that doing these things yourself is a lot of fun and you learn a lot of things because I would never, I, I don't think I would have uh, tried this Kuten print, printer driver just to change ink cartridge to color. Anyways, that is it. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.